Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. As you all know that we are working with the college management system and in previous video I have shown you how to design the search individual detail for a student. Okay, so let me just click on this and here you can see this individual detail. When I click on this, this form is coming up in the screen. Okay, so I have shown you how to design this, how to code this. When I enter a valid registration ID and when I click on show detail, the detail will be visible. When I enter some wrong user ID, when I click on this, here you can see this no record found. When I click on this, all the data is removed. So in previous video, I have shown you this. If you have not watched my previous video, then just go to my playlist or you can just go to description. I will put the link for my previous video as well. And you just design this by yourself. Okay. So in today's lecture, I'm going to show you how to design this at teacher information. When I click on this, here you can see this, this form is popped up. Okay. So let's start designing with this. Let me close this first. This is a complete project and as you know that we are working with this college video and here you can see that let me start this and let me show you. Okay, so here you can see this we have already done here. Okay, in this previous video I have shown you and here when I click on this, when I click on this, here you can see this nothing has popped up. So we have to start with that. So how to do that? First thing what we need is one form. So let me just add one form. So just go to Solution Explorer, right click on that and click on Add. And in this Add, you have to write, you have to click on this Windows form. Okay. So when you click on this Windows form, here you can see this new pop up will be there. And in this, you have to write the name of that form. So let me just name this form Add Teacher and click on Add. A new form will be added here you can see this and you can increase the size like this or you can just set the size for this form like here you can see this let me just copy the size from the previous one okay so where it is let me add teacher search for add teacher here you can see this we have this form here right now so the size of this form is just copy let me just copy this and let me just paste it here. Here you can see 889,534. You can manually write it, that's not an issue. Okay, after that, in this, you can see that here we have one picture box. This is a picture box, and this is one label. So we need one picture box and label. So let me add picture box. Just drag and drop it here. So you can see this in this way and just go to properties and here you can see this it's a small triangle here you can just click on this and click on this choose images and it will open your local resources where you have put the images so the image all image i'm using all icons i'm using in this is provided in the description link of that images is provided okay so you can go and download it from there okay so not to worry about that so let me just explore this is here you can see this basic info just open this and hit open you can see this now image is not visible you know why because you have not selected this stretch image here you can see this and make it large enough so that it look nice here you can see this the background of this image is white but this is little off white so change this color to white just go to properties of this form and search for back color here you can see this and make it just go to custom and select white and here you can see this now it's looking nice we need one label as well so go to toolbox and search for label and drag and drop it here and change the name of this one just go to properties and search for text in this we have to change this basic information and hit enter here you can see this now we need to increase the size of this so just search for font and increase the size click on this small three dots and you know that I prefer Calipri as well so at 16 here you can see this now change the color just click on this and just search for some nice color as well highlight it here you can see this now we have this okay so now in this we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine labels and one button. So let me add nine label first. So 
just drag and drop this label here just to copy paste just press CDRL C and CDRL V okay and this side we have 5 and this side we have 4 Let me change the name of these labels one by one so you know how to change if you don't just go to properties let me make this large a little bit and search for text here you can see this it's text so first thing we need is full name of the teacher so full name for the second label we have to change this to gender for the third one we have to change this for date of birth And for this one, we have to change this for mobile number. Okay. For this one, we need to change this to email ID. Okay. Let me just show you. It's matching or not. Here you can see this full name, gender, date of birth, mobile number, email address. We have done with that full name, gender, date of birth, mobile number, and email address. In this we have to add semester, programming, duration and address. So just go to here, just change this to semester and change this to programming and change this one to duration. And change this one to address okay so now we have levels but the size is not proper and the font is not looking nice so let me just increase the size of these just select all of it at one so that we can do it in an easy way and just go to font click on this and just make it uh, bold with 12 okay so you can see this now it's looking nice but a little bit larger so let me just decrease the size to 10 actually okay just decrease this to 10 now it's looking nice okay so now for the full name we need what we need one text box two radio buttons one date time picker one text box here here you can see this it's one text box three text box one uh, date time picker and two radio buttons so let me just do that so first thing I need one text box. So let me just drag and drop it here. Okay. So here we have text box. And the second thing we need is radio button. So let me just drag and drop it. We need two radio buttons. So copy and paste it. Now we have two. And what we need to do is we need to change the name of these radio buttons. So first radio button needs to be mail and the second one to be email okay so here we have put and the third we time we need date time picker so just search for date time picker and copy and paste it here here you can see this it contains day as well so we don't need day so just go to properties and search for let me just check it out okay uh, so let me just look at it so here you can see this you have to need search for format and in this you have to just make it short here you can see this now we have the time sorry date only and after that we need text boxes so let me just drag text box Two more just you can in the same way you can do like labels just copy and paste it to replicate here you can see this now we have in this semester let me show you here we have three combo box and one rich text box okay so let me just do that so here we need two three combo box actually combo box just drag and drop it here and we need three so just copy and paste it here we have now three combo box as well 
just increase the size of these combo box just select and increase the size so you can see this now it's looking nice and we need one more text box so just search for text box sorry we don't need text box we need rich text box so toolbox to search for rich text box here you can see this just drag and drop it here because address are usually in multi line so i need rich text box so that's not an issue it's looking nice and i need here you can see this in this we have one button as well so let me just drag one button so just drag and drop it on button here and in this change the properties to submit and hit enter here we have and now we need to actually set this data into these um, semester so let me just enter click on this small uh, triangle shape click edit items here you can see this now it's open so let me just copy the data from here you can manually write it okay so just paste it you can write uh, one by one just pause the video and write this and click on okay now the these atoms are now added into this so in the same way you have to do for the programming as well so let me just do that you have to write it manually just pause the video and write you can add other programming language you can write a number of uh, rows into this okay in the same way for duration you have to write like this 2020 to 2024 2024 to 2028 like this or you can add a number of rows in this so one thing here you can see this the difference is here we have select like this is all already visible so how to do that for that you have to just go to properties and search for text here you can see this and this we have to write like this and just copy this and paste in this text as well and hit enter and this as well and hit enter so now we have this all data so now we have to actually increase the size of these text box and combo box as well so that it look nice so just search for font here you can see this now increase its size to 10 and hit ok ok so now it's looking nice but when I start this Here you can see this when I click on this nothing is popped up so we have to actually link this form with that so how to do that for that you have to just go to the form that is dashboard form 1 and this you have to just go to this add teach information and double click on this to generate a click event now we have and we have the form name is add teacher we have to create an object for that add teacher it equals new add teacher we have now the form and it dot show to show the form now when you click on that button this form will be popped up here you can see this but i want this form to be open in the center so start position change this start position to center screen if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe so that you keep updated with our new content and stuff as well so now let me just start this Now click on this add teacher information here you can see this now data is here now we can select records as well we have now records you can type anything multi line in this and here you can see this you can select this male female as well you can change this in the same way we are doing the all this stuff okay here you can see this now we have this so that's it for the today's video guys in the next video I'm going to sh show you how to create the table into the database and how this submit button will work here you can see this when i click on this nothing is happening okay so in the next video i'm going to show you how to backend how to code backend of this um, form okay so stay tuned and just subscribe hit like button and share with your friends thanks for watching